Hello, welcome to the Universe Mod episode 133, week 37. This is main event. Why are we still in California? Um, yeah, my thought hasn't improved. Yeah! Of course, Cody Rhodes, as he comes out here to start off main event, he has been on a horrible losing streak recently. He cannot get a win to save his life. First eliminated in the Battle Royal last week, uh, in the yeah, in the over top row Battle Royal last week, and then first eliminated in that fatal four-way battle in that <coughs> fatal four-way on SmackDown. Cody Rhodes really needs to change his ways around his evil ways, and yeah, he's looking to do it tonight. And here comes his opponent. Long time no see, Xavier Woods. Down the ring, oh god. Down the ring comes Xavier Woods. Um, yeah, long time I see for him. I remember back like a WrestleMania, he was taking on Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship, now TV title, and since then he sort of doesn't appear that much. Anyway, here he is, shaking back and forth, and Justin Roberts is taking a good look down there. Alright, let's get main event underway. Cody Rhodes immediately starting off with his very, well, like, his goldest mask uppercut. And, uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so if there's not a lot of talking in this episode, my voice is screwed. To be fair, it's better than what it was when I woke up today. Uh, I literally couldn't speak barely at all today. And now it just sort of cracks. Which is, um, fun. Anyway, um, yeah, regarding, anyway, back, I wanted to use this match to talk about something as well. Regarding what happened, um, on a SmackDown where Stone Cold Steve Austin took on Triple H, the winner got the shot at Jake Roberts at, um, Unforgiven tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's still gonna go ahead. It, well, Triple H is still the number one contender because even though it was a screwy way of doing it, he still did beat um, Stone Cold, and you can't take that away from him. The only thing is, Stone Cold is still allowed this title opportunity. It's just that for the main event tonight, he's got to defeat Roman Reigns, and if he does so successfully, he will be entered into that world title match, and it will be a triple threat between Jake Roberts. Stone Cold and tr and Triple H for the world title. I'm not too sure yet. It depends if Triple H can beat Roman Reigns. If Roman Reigns does win, and Stone Cold does not go to the uh, the match, and it will just be a one on one instead. So we go not our usual triple threat, but instead we've got this. Um, <coughs> match lined up for you instead. So, anyway, back to this match, and Cody Rhodes is a bit dazed. Woods has got him. Oh my god! That was, that was like a really weird brain buster. And Cody Rhodes again with the uppercut. He's trying to do anything he can to get himself back in this match. Well, not back in this match, but get himself back in a run of form, of course. Rhodes, first Intercontinental Champion, and... Ever since he lost that time, you know, that jawbreaker. Really turned out as good. It's difficult. It's weird to know that a, uh, that a competitor like Cody Rhodes, his gimmick is defeated by a jawbreaker, became Jalba. I mean, look at this. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, okay. The, the Ray pulled. Oh my god, this is creepy. Oh, that's. Um. I don't want to know. Anyway, Xavier Woods looking for a suplex. No! Cody Rhodes with the knee to the skull and sends him over his knee. I got a little match. <coughs> oh! Yeah. Sound fit, don't I? Oh my god, there's strong clothes on by Xavier Woods and Cody Rhodes taking the opportunity time. Just, just get himself out of the ring. And now, reversal, Rhodes with the step of Inzaghiri, of course, focusing on the skull of Xavier Woods, 
for that crossroads. Uh, what the hell was that by Xavier Woods? I have no clue, but uh, back to in the corner now. Rhodes throwing him down, pointing at him in a very intriguing way. And Moonsault! Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Okay. Don't be over the top about it here. Note to self. Rhodes pummeling away on the skull of Xavier Woods. He is, oh, he's not exactly the happiest of men. But Xavier Woods, meanwhile, he hasn't been around for a while, and he's looking to get his name back out there. He needs to pick up the win tonight to do just that. The hell did he just do? Oh, there's a jumping punch thing. Reverse by Cody. Irish whip, he's hanging on. No, there's a reverse. Oh, an elbow. Woods back in. Woods with a leap and clothesline. Down goes Rhodes. Woods into the pin. No, he only gets a one. Cody kicking out. Cody, no way. Tree of Xavier. Bang. Oh, I think that's it for Cody Rhodes. Good night, Cody Rhodes. No, he kicks out at one. And oh, he gets clotheslined again and rolls out of the ring. He rolls out of harm way back on. Uh oh. Russian leg sweep on the outside now. It's by taking the uh, change to the outside. Suplex incoming. No, reversed again by Rhodes. And pretty Rhodes. Okay. Back in the ring goes Xavier. There's a punch. And oh! Big boot to the side of the skull. Rhodes trying to re control. He's trying to get him up. He's looking to get him up. He's setting up for it. Turns him around. Crossroads. Cody into the cover. Yes. Rhodes is losing streak. Takes a turn for the better in his case. Cody Rhodes defeats Xavier Woods. And maybe soon enough things can turn around for Rhodes. But he's still got a heck of a mountain to climb. All that matters though is Rhodes was able to pick up a win here tonight. Good job for him. We now move on to the next match. Where... Stuff happens, I can't remember. Ah! Alright. It's time for our tag team match. And it seems with next big things are in action. Had I not... Oh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. Oh, jeez. Drew Mac Oh, I can't speak at all. As Drew McIntyre comes out of the ring, him and Brock Lesnar have been doing quite well. Both the singles competition at Tag Team. Been on a bit of a turning point recently. They're reminding everyone that they're still on the map, but that they can't be forgotten about. So, here we go. Anyway, it's a Tag Team action. I guess coming out next is going to be Brock. Here he comes, Rock Lesnar coming down to the ring. Of course, as Brock, uh, as Brock comes down to the ring, things change around recently for the next big things when their new manager Paul Heyman joined with them. And uh, yes, yeah, as they turn around, their luck has been changing. Heyman has been helping these guys out, and since that, I mean, things have been going great for these guys. I mean, Brock did, was unsuccessful last week in the Triple Threat. No, was it last week? Was it? No, I think it was two weeks ago. But, you know, stuff happens like that, but with Heyman on the side of these two tonight, the chances of winning <coughs> are quite high. And here come their opponents. No themes. Oh, no, it's just these guys. Oh, 
I love that fucking Ooze. Oh. Anyway, the Ooze is coming down the ring. Set to take on the next big thing. The Ooze goes drafted off to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Usos got drafted over to Raw. How long ago and... Uh, yeah, here they are now. Set to take on the next big things. And yeah, that's it. Justin Roberts is rapping with him. Good, good fit. Alright. Here we go. Paul Heyman at ringside. Or someone pretending to be Paul Heyman at ringside. Drew McIntyre start to, starting off against Uso. I have no clue which one that is. I believe the one with the face paint on the right is... Oh, I remember it by the one who has the Fatu tattoo. Actually, I think this one is... Hmm. I think this one's Jimmy, and the one who's not tank. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that this one's Jimmy and the other one's Jay. That's what I'm gonna go with. That's my intuition, at least. All right. So anyway, Jim McIntyre starting off right now. There's a reversal by Jimmy. Jim. Anyway, Paul Heyman may have told these guys the thing or did not like the wrestling wise, but you know, he's been advocating them. He has been looking after them and. Uh, yeah, they seem to be almost like the good luck charm. It's the next big things. And, uh... Yeah, that's all I've got to say. I can feel this slowly disappearing as time goes on. Which should be... <coughs> extremely fun. <coughs> anyway, right now, Drew and Jimmy are going at it. They're back and forth reversal between the both of them. I'm going to turn on my fan. There we go. It's suddenly going to get a bit louder in here, but it's very warm in here right now. With this uh, TV on. And this laptop. Very warm. One punch fish. Neck breaker. Very successful. Focus on the skull there by Drew McIntyre. I mean, he's doing it, you know, to set up for the future shock. But it's an STO once again. By Jimmy Uso. But he walks straight into an Irish whip. Jimmy McIntyre puts. Bro uh, never mind, he put Jimmy in the corner as if he was going to tag him. Brock. That never happened. And more clotheslines in the corner. Clobbering blows. And down goes Jimmy. McIntyre now wailing away on the skull. And he is seemingly quite. Full of himself, it's like he's got a bit of a cockiness to him since being lined up with uh, Paul Heyman. Anyway, Brock Lesnar in the ring. This is someone who doesn't try and exuberate themselves, doesn't try to look cocky. This is someone who just goes straight down to business, and their business is hurting you. And there's a German, because eat, sleep, Germans, repeat, can't hang with me. Because suplexes firing away by Brock. And there's another German suplex. After following that standing suplex, Brock is wailing away and whatever Jay just did makes absolutely no sense. Oh, here we go now. Punches away. Never mind. That's reversed. Front face lock. No. Reversed. Brock is, uh... It's like a man on a mission. Oh, there we go. Drew McIntyre. Grabbing Jay Uso. And, oh, a bit of disrespect by Brock Lesnar. Slapping the face. Jey Uso now. Lesnar in firm control right now. Another suplex incoming. Planting Jey Uso down on his back. He is... Lesnar is really not the nicest of guys. Holy crap, there's another German suplex. This has been... Very painful right now for Jey Uso. Lesnar is just wailing away on him. Look at this. Oh, Jey trying to make the tag. He outpaces Brock, but... <laughs> I thought Paul Heyman just fell over the steel steps. Uh, Heyman walking around with some steel steps. He has actually just thrown the steel steps in the ring. But Lesnar, belly to belly, he is... Not making the steps his focus right now. He's picked them up, and I think they're just going to cause a distraction. While Lesnar is disobeying the words of, of what Paul Heyman just wished for him to do. You see it coming from the sense of he wants to make sure that them winning is clean and decisive. Not through cheating. 
Lesnar really working the way down. Jimmy Uso got tagged in, and he is still getting exactly the same treatment as his brother was against Brock. But there's an STO again. Reversed. And, oh. Jimmy with his own Irish whip. And Brock Lesnar rolling up Jimmy Uso. One. Two. No. I was either broken up or it was a kick out. Him is in the ring for some reason. Uh oh. Brock's got him. Oh, he slammed by Brock Lesnar. And look at this. Jay was caught in the ring and gets planted with that German. Brock. Brock has got Jimmy at five. Hooks the leg. Brock into the pin. One, two, three. The next big things. Destroy the Usos. And that is that. Decisive victory there. Paul Heyman celebrating with these guys. Here we go. McIntyre, Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman celebrating the ring. They've all just picked up the win. Oh, holy shit. I know why we're going on about this. Great win for this team, but holy shit. Brock Lesnar just destroyed the Usos on his own. That was very strong. Anyway, move on to the next match, which another one that I can't remember. I think it's a number one tennis match for the women's championship between Maria and Caitlin. There we go. Have fun with that. So yeah, here we go. We got this match coming up ahead of us, and uh, um, well, I was going to give the explanation why. Ah, right. Of course, um, if you remember, which I highly doubt you do, Caitlyn defeated Winter on SmackDown, but. She was not granted the number of tennis shot, and um, she was to proclaim number of tennis. But Maria, before they were kicked off SmackDown, was racking up the serious number of wins. So we're gonna have Maria versus Caitlyn, and yeah, the winner's gonna get a shot of Winter uh, um, next week on the main event. And um, one of you would also like to point something out: the. <coughs> It has been said that the Divas Championship and the Women's Championship will be unified as of Survivor Series and officially, while well, this is a bit stupid despite them being unified, they will be retired as well. So, as of the end of 2K14, we'll be seeing no more Divas. And, um, yeah, that'll be taking place at Survivor Series. So, that's that. And anyway, down to the ring comes Caitlyn. She must be pretty. <coughs> Alright, let me try that again. She must be pretty pissed off as to what happened, because I mean, she did decisively and cleanly beat the women's champion, and she's not getting a shot for it, so Kayla's got to have a bit of infuriated anger within her, and uh, yeah, maybe Maria could be the one she takes it out on. I guess we'll find out next. Alright, I know this sounds a bit crap and everything, but my voice is literally dying, and I'm going to have to take a break for this one match, okay? Because it's going to go otherwise by the next match. I'll, um, I'll be back. Great match. 
match here. But if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. Well, look at this move, Cole. A short kick. Talk about catching a beating. And there's the reversal. Oh, she does it again. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Transpired. Here's a cover. Two, two, three. The princess win. Alright, well there we go. I was expecting a bit of a longer break than that, but um I guess not. Right, so it's going to be Maria vs. Winter next week, our main event for the Women's Championship, and yeah, that, um, yeah, I got nothing else, um, next match is Phil 4, I believe, yeah, should be, good. Oh yeah, woo, woo. Woo! Woo! The following fatal two-way contest is an elimination match. Making his way to the ring. From Long Island, weighing in at 214 pounds, Zack Ryder. Because Zack Ryder, um, this past week in ECW, challenged Wade Barrett to a match, and well, yeah, that didn't go well for him. But, um, <coughs> at least he challenged him, and he knows now that maybe you shouldn't pick on someone like Wade Barrett and expect to easily get a win out of it. But Zack Ryder, at least he had the, well, the balls to challenge him, and look who's back! Long time no see! Mick Foley hasn't been around since he won the Hardcore Championship, and he is back after all this time. All this time I've waited, never been this. Anyway, Mick Foley's back in action. <coughs> Here he is in this Phil Foley match, and um, yeah. Here comes another man who's been around recently. He'd appear in the SmackDown. It's BT! Sorry, Booger T. How did I forget? <coughs> yes, Booger T coming down to the ring. He has been uh, in action a little bit in these past couple of weeks on SmackDown. I'm on main event as well. I don't know about that. Yeah, words and stuff. And here comes a man who, I can't even, I think it was like two weeks, three weeks ago maybe the last time we saw him. Here he comes, Kevin Thorne. Kevin Thorne. Yes, Kevin Thorne coming out of the ring. Through the fire, not giving any shit. <coughs> oh, that cough was very flammy. Right, Kevin Thorne coming out of the ring. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an entertaining one. 
for sure. You know what that? I swear to God. Yep. Um, due to reasons that we are PG-96, we can't show Ribena on TV. Sorry. Alright. Here we go. Fair four is underway and uh, seems as if everyone turned their attention to Kevin Thorne for a moment is what it seemed. Anyway, we've got Mick Foley and Kevin Thorne and Booker T and Zack Ryder. So let's see how this action pans out. Anyway, there's a single leg flapjack by uh, Booker T on Zack Ryder, and it seems if everyone's given up. And okay, never mind. We've swapped around. It's now Zack Ryder and Kevin Thorne and Booker T and Mick Foley. By Tio. Ryder getting reversed there by Thorne. Meanwhile, there's a bulldog by Mick Foley. Oh, he's picked up Booker T. And now we've changed around again. Oh, I have no clue what's currently going on. Too many people are trying to hit too many other people. People! I don't know what I was going for there. Anyway, both Mick Foley and Kevin Thorne getting reversed. And holy crap, that flapjack by Ryder set Foley quite high in the air. A series of impressive combination of maneuvers. And there's a little bait to battle there by Kevin Thorne. The Booker T with an immediate reversal. You know, the corner leaping splash and a belly to belly by Mick Foley on Zack Ryder. That spinning heel kick. Really not finding the target by Booker T, who goes careening into the into the turnbuckle. And, oh well, we've got a double team on Zack Ryder. Where are my brother? Woo! Woo! What is. Booker T, holy crap! A bit of a fast. Uh, that was one of his kicks that didn't quite pan out the way he wished for it. There's a the reversal though. And, oh, wait, hang on. Well, a tilt a will neck breaker by Zack Ryder. Kevin Thorne once again, turning his, not turning his attention to Booker T. Okay, well, another double team on Zack Ryder. As he gets double gut busted. Oh, no, there's a reversal. Face for, holy crap, Mick Foley with the roll up. And Ryder twists it back over. And now Foley's twisting it back over. We're going to have one of them. Meanwhile, back over in the in the wrestling. Holy crap, that was a huge clothesline by Kevin Thorne. And, oh, it seems as if Ryder and Foley are back to normal. There's a bit of choke going on over there. Well, maybe it wasn't a choke, but who knows? Ryder, back suplex on Foley. And what is Kevin Thorne looking at here? Holy, oh, that, that was a nice. And uh-oh, what is he going for? Oh, a grasp, I have no clue what the hell to call that. No, that only gets a two though. And a roll up by Foley anyway on Ryder. Ryder flips it back over on Foley. Okay, we're still going back and forth. A huge clothesline by Kevin Thorne there. While all this is going on, Thorne's setting up for something. No! Reversal! Face buster by Booker T. Booker's got him. Booker's got him right where he wants him. And axe kick! Kevin Thorne could be out of here. The referee wasn't paying attention. No, he was paying attention. That was the pin he was counting. Oh, there's a huge DT. Booker's just sort of standing there. Menacingly. Kevin Thorne goes out of the way and he regains control. He's going for this again. Face first into the turnbuckle goes Booker T. And Ryder and Foley are still going back and forth. And finally, it's over. Oh, an atomic drop there by Mick Foley. And a running DDT by Kevin Thorne. What's Foley going for? 
Slams him down. Another DDT by Kevin Thorne. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Grabbing the tights. Mick Foley with the pile driver. <laughs> oh, God. One. Two. I think Ryder's gone. No. Ryder kicks out of two. Oh. Manable Claw. Manable Claw locked in. Ryder could be tapping out to Foley. Is Ryder going to tap out? Meanwhile, oh, there it is, the set-out spinebuster yet again by Kevin Thorne onto Booker T. Booker's gone. Booker is out of here. And Ryder gets reversed. I think he might be going for the Zack attack. And McFoley hooking the leg. Ryder kicks out, obviously. I wish I'd been to the corner. It was McFoley. Flight four on by Ryder. Into the pin. No. Foley kicks out at one. Tilt to a neck breaker. Ryder trying to use his speed to outdo Foley. These guys are seriously going back and forth on each other right now. There's a counter by Foley. Foley runs into him. Foley's got him again. Mandible claw. Mandible claw locked in. Is this is Ryder gonna tap out this time? Yes! Right well he didn't tap out. Ryder is unconscious. Ryder's out of it! Wait a minute, Kevin Thorne! High cross! Hook into the pin! Thorne! <laughs> Ryder! Ryder! <coughs> Interfering in the camera. Kevin Thorne's attempted submission. Reverse spine buster! And another reversal by Mick Foley. Oh no, there's a DDT on his skull. Who would have thought about it? Mick Foley showing up yet showing back up here. Has been able to go down to the final two of this match. There's a DDT of Thorn's own. Uh-oh. He's yanking on that face. He's DDS eyes is yanking on that face. Of Mick Foley. Mercy's forward, Barber's bar. What? Slams his face down on the mat. And uh oh, well, what is this? No, I Foley with the reversal. Uh oh, he's got him this time. No, Foley reverses again. Holy crap! And whatever he was, Foley was, Foley was going for gets reversed. What the hell? He knows so getting hit. Foley pile driver. Kevin thought is busted wide open. Into the pin. No, Thorn kicks out of two. No, wait. Manable Claw. Manable Claw. Manable Claw being applied. Ah, the breaking point out. Working well again. Showing us the Thorn. You, you voted for Thorn to use his resiliency. And there's a reverse lane by Kevin Thorn. He keeps himself in this match a little bit longer. He's got him again. The second high cross. Oh, down he goes. This time, I think that's got to be it. Thorn into the pin. Kevin Thorn picks up the win. Thorn almost lost that one. But of course, as you can see, he didn't. Obviously. There we go. Kevin Thorn picks up the win. Now we're heading to have a six mile battle royal. Who's going to move on? Alright, it's time for the Six Man Battle Royal. Coming up first, the man who won the Fatal Four Way last week. It's just incredible. Alright, it's Gabriel. Only job is Dog the Ring. The Wob Wobs are strong in Justin Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel here in the Six Man Battle Royal. Chance of winning it this year. Let's see if you can do it. <coughs> oh god. And the other man from ECW. The man that Gabriel actually. Oh, well, no, Gabriel didn't eliminate him. But who was in the same act as Gabriel last week? Ken Shamrock coming out of the ring. 
And here he comes. Menacingly. Coming out of the ring. And yes, he is ready. He is prepared. And we're not going to let him punch his face because that could cause severe concussions. Dong ding 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 dong dong ding. Stereotypical Asian music. By stereotypical Asian music, I mean China, Japan, Hong Kong, that kind of place, not, not India. Alright. Anyways, Ricky Steamboat comes out asking for hugs. That's Bailey's gimmick, you tit. And making his singles debut, it is... Jack Swagger! Jack Swagger makes his singles debut, and there's a man who's not even in the game. Anyway, Jack Swagger comes to, uh, 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 there, coming out of the ring, finally making his singles debut. Well, I, I mean, he's done some matches like a long, long time ago, but um, now here he is, finally, again, as he puts his arm in the air, I guess he doesn't do his, um, his shtick. No, he doesn't. It's a shit. <coughs> I did a bit of that. Anyway, coming down now is a former World Tag Team Champion. Miz coming out of the ring. He's looking prepped and ready to win this match. I think. I don't know. Here we go, coming down the ring. Wow, once he arrives. Ah, there he is. Adam Cole coming down the ring now. He has been in pretty good showing recently, but sometimes he just hasn't been able to get the wins where he really needs them. And maybe it could have been him in the position of JBL. Ahead of that opportunity to beat, to, to well, not to beat, that uh, could have been in that opportunity to win against Razor Ramon and Jeff Jarrett, and maybe he could have been the one taking OJ Lethal. If he was able to pick up that, those vital wins, but he just hasn't been able to when it matters, and well, that's why he didn't get the level of damage. Alright, this match gets underway, and already we've got some people going after some P PPL. And, uh, well, we've got ECW on Raw, and Raw on ECW, and oh, both men into each other, and Shamrock takes advantage of that, both men colliding into each other. How very entertainical. There's two men who just collided into each other, Ryder and, uh, sorry, not Ryder, Cole and Swagger, who's stuck in the corner post, who's stuck in the corner post, and, yeah, after that, they now... Enemies, it seems. Adam Cole looking to eliminate Swagger. That fails. Steamboat's in trouble. Steamboat <coughs> is gone. Shamrock eliminates Steamboat. The Miz just ran through Swagger and Adam Cole's attempted move. <laughs> and all right, well, I, whoa, too much weird shit going on for me. Gabriel, no, fighting out of the Miz's attempted elimination on him. And now Shamrock's got the Miz. There's an Irish whip. All oh, the ropes goes Miz, but he hangs on. And he gets back in the ring. Shamrock putting Miz in the corner. He's looking to eliminate him. He's got him up. He's touching his ass. He's got him. And no! Miz skims the cat and stays in. Uh oh. Whoa, Jack Swagger helping Adam Cole stay in this match. That was a bit odd. Anyway, Shamrock is really infatuated on eliminating the Miz right now. Uh, it could be happening. Miz is gone! And uh oh, Shamrock 
Shamrock with the Horikarana. Down goes Swagger. And Gabriel could be looking like he's about to be eliminated next. Oh, there's a punch in the corner. He goes. Wait a minute. Swagger. Patriot Bomb. Wow. He's dead. Gabriel hangs on, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. Gabriel stays in this. And another Hurricanrana. He's four left now. To fire it out. Cole go, trying to go over to Shamrock. And Shamrock just throws off Adam Cole. And again Adam Cole reversing. Putting him in the corner. But this time Shamrock just reverses out of it. Oh. Whoa. Over the ropes. And Cole not even getting... Well, not even days for enough time to not for an elimination. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> Swagger's in trouble. Swagger, Swagger's gone. Went out of three. Adam Cole looking to try and eliminate. Never mind. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out. Watch out, Shamrock. No, never mind. There's a reversal. No, no, okay. Gabriel doesn't go over so he gets a tilt wheel backbreaker for his troubles. And another one for good measure. Of course. Uh, in the mind of Ken in the mind of Adam Cole. Oh, Ken Shamrock. What is what is Oh a shoulder breaker by Adam Cole. Cole's got him. Cole! Indy kick and over and out. what the hell? Alright. And what the? Over and out anyway goes. <coughs> Justin Gabriel and we are down to two. Ken Shamrock, Adam Cole. Oh no! Never mind. Hot shot off the ropes. Adam Cole's eliminated and Ken Shamrock wins the battle royal. There we go. Ken Shamrock picks up the win. Eliminating three men in that. I believe. Yeah. And well, there we go. Now it's time for the main event. Roman Reigns takes on Stone Cold. If Stone Cold can win, he's going to unforgiven in that triple threat. If Roman Reigns wins, it's going to be just a one on one. Find out what's going to happen next. Wait. Whoa. Okay. We didn't even get an entrance. Stone Cold's halfway down the ring. We've got to put the cameras on and. Um, yeah, he's levitating now. Alright, well, this is the main event. I mean, Stone Cold wasn't even given an opportunity to try and cobble Saint and just have a moment to, for me to talk about it. Never mind, this, this is just going to go straight at it. I don't even think this match has begun yet. Because neither man's been in the ring. These guys are just brawling outside right now. The referee hasn't begun to count. Because I haven't got in the ring to start the match. Uh oh, I think they're going in the ring. No, they're not. They're still brawling on the outside. And Reigns now clobbering away on Austin. He could literally hit him with a steel chair if he wished, because this match has not begun. This is still a, this is just an unsanctioned brawl right now between these two. This is uh pretty hectic. There's a small one drop by Roman Reigns. What I was gonna say was how Roman Reigns could be on the back for heading into this because he lost to Triple H last night on SmackDown. But it seems as if he's put that way behind him. He is just beating up Austin right now. And the ref can do nothing about it. But Stone Cold, meanwhile, is still fighting in this pretty strong. Roman Reigns now. No, there's a reversal by Austin. But look at this. Reigns is just trying to punch away at him. And, oh, Roman Reigns at the ring post. Head first. And he goes inside. And I believe once Austin gets inside, the match is finally underway. Holy crap. The brawl we just saw on the outside. But now this match begins. Austin and Reigns are going at it. Back and forth. Reigns with another Samoan drop onto Austin. Austin rolls out of the way. He gets caught again. He's just running into these Samoan drops right now. 
Reigns is just happy of that. And it all oh, is a close line by Austin. But once again, he just gets straight back up. STO by Roman Reigns. <coughs> Shoving Austin's head into the ground. He didn't even just do anything about it. And Reigns pushes off Austin. Both went for a kick. Austin wins the kick. He hasn't won the match yet. Back suplex by Roman Reigns. Austin's in a bit of trouble right now because Reigns is a little bit in control. Reversal Irish whip into the corner. Goes Austin. Okay, whoa, what the hell? Alright. Roman Reigns catches the boot. Sends him down. As what is all a boot. Boston Crab being applied. I mean, this focus point has been on the back of Stone Cold. And he is not tapping out, though. As he holds his ass in pain. Oh, there's a reversal. Neither the gut. And now a kick. Austin really needs to get himself back in this match. Reigns of the reversal. Into the corner goes Austin. And Reigns is just sort of standing there. That's a bit odd. There's a reversal. Wrenches the arm. And kick. Punch. That is really going to affect him in the long run. He may have to submit to Austin with the reversal. Irish whip. Off he comes off the ropes. And a backdrop. Austin's actually going to go for the pin. One. And he gets a one. Oh, I guess. Punching away. And Austin, wrenching on the arm. Oh, there's a hip toss though by Roman Reigns. And he focuses again on the skull of Austin. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Roman Reigns has got off. Oh. Alright. Bulldog. I think Roman Reigns was looking for his panded spear, and well, that just didn't happen. Oh, there's a reversal. Roman Reigns getting reversed. Austin picks him up. Austin, never mind. There's a punch to the skull. Roman Reigns getting reversed. Austin, never mind. Elbow across the face by Reigns. So they're going back and forth on each other. Elbows by Reigns. Right now, Reigns seems to have the little spot of control. Never mind. Austin gets up straight back in this. Shoulder tackle. And Austin. Wait a minute. Austin's parrying Roman Reigns. Turning around. He does a kill. Stunner. Stunner to Reigns. Austin dragging him away. That's costing him time. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Austin wins. Austin adds himself to the match in Unforgiven. We're going to have Stone Cold. Triple H and Jake Roberts for the world title. What the hell is going? I don't even. Roman Reigns is um okay. I have what the actual shit. Roman Reigns has evaporated up to the top. Um, are these guys gonna go at it or something? No, here comes Staff. Uh, never mind. Austin's fighting away. I guess these guys still have beef since the days of Punk versus Austin. They're fighting back and forth. By God, Michael, stop the humanity. Anyway. Stone Cold, Adams, uh, Stone Cold adds himself to that match in Unforgiven. The brawl is still going on, but we've just left it on a free stream for you. These men are going back and forth with each other, and we're going to have main event. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for Unforgiven, and goodbye.